Imagine an operating system that feels like a carefully designed piece of furniture. Every curve, color, and motion chosen to make you feel at ease. That's the first impression Deepin 2025 gives. Not just an update, but an aesthetic rethink of the desktop experience. From the moment the boot animation finishes and the login screen fades in, Deepin makes it obvious that design is the star here. Beneath that beauty, the team behind Deepin rebuilt large parts of the desktop environment to deliver smoother animations, more consistent iconography, and a control center that feels both modern and intuitive. The new DDE, reworked for fluidity and polish, smooths out rough edges you didn't know you were tired of. That visual and interaction refresh is not just skin deep. It's meant to make everyday actions faster and more predictable. But Deepin 2025 isn't only about looks. This release also introduces platform-level changes that shift how the system is delivered and maintained. The project describes this version as a major milestone with several headline innovations and a large number of under-the-hood fixes and optimizations, all intended to make the OS more reliable and faster in daily use. Those changes are the backbone that lets the new interface feel responsive rather than fragile. One of the more talked about additions is built-in intelligent assistance. New AI-powered modules focused on writing, translation, and text processing are integrated to help with common tasks like drafting content, translating phrases, or summarizing text. For creators and multilingual users, this becomes a practical tool that's available right from the desktop. Deepin 2025 also experiments with packaging and delivery models intended to improve stability and cross-distro compatibility. Some coverage describes the release as moving toward an immutable style architecture and broadening support for universal app packaging, concepts that aim to reduce breakage from updates while making app installation simpler across distributions. These are important shifts if you care about system stability and simplified app distribution. Let's talk about the everyday apps. Deepin Music and Deepin Movie received visual and functional updates that make playing media feel integrated into the desktop rather than an afterthought. The Deepin Store has been expanded and reorganized to make discovering quality apps easier, and utilities such as the System Monitor and Screenshot tool are more tightly integrated into workflows. If you like a curated, consistent experience, these refinements matter. Multitasking and workspace management feel notably improved. Window animations and workspace transitions are designed to be both attractive and informative, helping you keep orientation while moving between tasks. Customization remains deep. You can fine-tune themes, fonts, panel layouts, and dock behavior while still retaining the default visuals that make the desktop feel cohesive. No review would be complete without mentioning trade-offs. Deepin's codebase and ecosystem are large and opinionated, and that complexity has in the past created friction with some upstream distributions and reviewers. There have been public concerns and actions taken around packaging policy and security review in other distributions. So if you are deploying Deepin in a security-sensitive environment, it's worth researching those items for the latest status and mitigations. In short, the polish is impressive, but verify fit for your risk profile. So who is Deepin 2025 for? If you want a Linux desktop that prioritizes aesthetics, a consistent application ecosystem, and desktop features that feel finished out of the box, Deepin is one of the most visually compelling options available today. If you're a creator, a newcomer to Linux, or someone who values an elegant daily environment with practical AI helpers, Deepin 2025 is worth trying. If you're maintaining servers or need the tightest security posture possible, treat it like any other distro and evaluate accordingly. If you want to try it, back up your data, test Deepin in a virtual machine or live session first, and explore the new control center and DDE settings. That's where the experience really reveals itself. If the interface clicks with you, the rest of the system is designed to support that feeling with performance and convenience improvements. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in tomorrow video. 
Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for daily videos. Bye.